G'day, my name is Tom, this is the Tathlase YouTube channel, welcome back to another Omni 2 video. Now, this is a bit of a change of plans because I did not know this bus was coming out um, so soon. And that is the Hulius or Hulies bus pack, whatever it is. Um, where you get lots of different buses and yeah, lots of different engines. And yeah, about four different engines, I think four transmissions, and like, four vari and lots of variations of um, said bus. Now, if I go to my... Yeah, it's a Hurley's bus uh, access bus pack, which is whatever that is. It is twenty eight dollars and forty five cents, and you get a total of. Hang on, let me find out really quickly. Over over twenty models. There's f okay. So let me read through the features really quickly. Um, so it has twenty five. So over twenty different models, twenty five set files with countless equipment possibilities. Authentic sounds. There are various engines as well. There is the Euro 3, the Euro 4, the Euro 5, and the EEV. And then you have the f different transmissions. There is also, there's a Voice Friends 4 speed, the ZF, and the C. It's and the CVT hybrid model for the hybrid models. This is a hybrid. There's a hybrid bus as well. And numerous paints included, with replant templates are supplied. Um, on Steam, it's got a, a um, review of, actually, no, nine user reviews. It doesn't say about anything about what it's rated at. But, yeah. So, that's that. Now, we're going to jump into the review now. So, this is the hybrid model to begin with. We're going to be checking out every engine and transmission combination as possible. Um, not every single one, but most of them. And then, when we come when I come back from my holiday in um, Kangaroo Island, um... The next, obviously, video will be the updated Iris bus intercity pack, and what, from what I've tested, it, what I've tested, this bus, that bus is absolutely amazing. So that will be coming out after Christmas. Um, so stay tuned for that because obviously Christmas I'm having, we're sending out probably the twenty seventh of December. Anyway, in terms of the um, styling, I reckon this bus looks pretty cool. You got these lots of like um, aero style thing at the top there. You got aero style. Uh, I would say aero style um, uh, wheel covers. It is a three door model, two axles. Uh, this is a DX three two seven model, which means there's also the, the, the which that's the only one you get anyway. The DX three two seven. Yeah, pretty cool looking bus. Sorry for the lag, by the way. We're getting like eight frames per second, but yeah, it's a pretty heavy bus. Still, this might not be no. This won't be the last video of me doing my, of this current system, by the way. So. It will lag for a few until January because the processor I'm looking at getting doesn't come out to doesn't come back in stock until January because they all sold out so quickly and then yeah so unfortunately we're gonna be stuck with low frame rates frame rate obviously too and also too I don't have a 64 gig patch on it because I had to run a um because of my game was broken for a bit but yeah pretty nice looking bus we've got nice set style headlights in the front. And, um, yeah, let's check out the interior of the hybrid model. So if I press F2, we go around the interior now. So it looks like we've got some plates, paint splodges on the interior. That looks really kind of cool. Uh, pretty nicely detailed interior. Again, sorry for the lag because it's running at about 15 frames a second. I think I could do about that just yet. Uh, because otherwise the game's just going to take forever to start. And that means I won't have a video, two videos out today. There's your stop signs. You can press the stop sign, so we might as well press it. Um, I don't think that worked. Oh, we'll start the engine. Um, engine. The engine does start when you press. Um, there's your stop button. There's your stop button. So let's. So I didn't start the engine accidentally. Uh, the engine does um, auto start when you press the ignition in the hybrid model. That is. Get the stop lights going now. But yeah, we might as well just listen to the engine now. So rev it up. Go. That's the sound of the engine. Sounds pretty good, but uh, I had to start the engine to fully talk to it. That's how it sounds in the hybrid model. So, as soon as you start the ignition, uh, the bus will start, which is a bit annoying, but hey, that's what happens. So, the rope is nice and transparent, so you can see at the top of the sun and everything like that, which is very, very nice to have. Two walls are travelling along the wrong But yeah, I really like the seat, I really like the detail of this interior. Well, bus will jump into the interior. So, this is the interior of the hybrid bus. Um, looks pretty nice. Um, this one's featured with a, a power meter instead of that RPM gauge. And yeah, I wonder if I can turn it off. Probably not. 
It won't turn it off after this because it's warming up. Just turn that switch on. Yeah. Whilst whilst you turn the ignition on, whilst I'll show you the ignition stick what's there, I'll just turn it on. I have to press it a couple of times. It turns on here, then you got some sort of system going turning on here. The embed embedded compact 2013 screen. Looks like it's got a mouse on it as well. I don't know what you can do with that. We've only got another one here running on this as well. And you can actually, if I if it doesn't lag, actually it's not lagging now anyway. You can actually drag this around and use it like a machine. I don't know what the I don't know what the code is yet. I haven't had that much time to. Um, I believe it's. Let me guess if it's this. Validating ID. Wait, if I just guessed it. So this is all running on like a Windows system. Like it's not obviously real because it wouldn't make sense to make it real. Okay, looks like the engine's off here. I think it's off. So. So the engine's now warmed up. So that means the engine will turn itself off. Uh, let's try 1805. Let's see if that's right. I don't I think it failed. Anyway, so you can type your ID thing there. That's still starting up this thing as well, whatever this thing is. And, um, yeah, I think that's your ticket machine. So you have some unclickable buttons here, which is not really exciting to see on a bus that costs 28 bucks. Um, your parking brakes right here. Over here, you've got your air conditioning and controls right here. But in this section, and then you have your lights. Let's flip all of those on so you can see how that looks. Turn one and two on. And yeah, you got your uh, windscreen stuff. Yeah, you got your headlights right there, which aren't animated, but that's okay. We've got really anything's animated anyway. Then you got your um, dashboard, which you have your speedo, it goes up to 125 kts an hour, and your power meter, like I said, and it's your uh, multifunction display, which we'll have a fleet through in a moment. Anyway, uh, I believe his steering wheel is adjustable. I could be wrong. I know the whole thing's adjustable. Let's just tilt that down so I can see more of the road. Uh, there's your screen, that's your IBIS system. Uh, then you've got your ticket printer right there. Over here's your gears. This is an automatic bus. Like I said, this is a CVT because this is a hybrid. And then you have your raising and lorry. Something else here, dev, and something else. Oh, yeah, I mean, I always say something else, but how do I flip the screens around? That's my question. Got some. Then you got some toggle switch there. I think this is a trolley bus, actually. Then you got some buttons here. Then you got your clipboard up there as well for. Um, just trying to work out how to flip through these switches. What's the F might do? I don't know. I think you. Yeah, if you press that, I think it will raise the bus a little bit. Yeah, you can see it, you can see it raise, which is pretty cool. I think this is the toggle switch with the screen. Okay, here we go. So it's your brake pressure, fuel gauges for add blue and regular fuel, uh, temperature gauge which has warmed up the engine, and there's your main um, info display. Anyway, we're ready to go. Um, because I mean I accidentally started the bus, so let's put it to drive. We're on drive. Parking brake off. Let's go. Okay, let's start back up as you heard. And for some reason it's not in drive. Here we go. Okay, let's take a brake pressure really quickly. Yeah, we've got brake pressure. Why are we not moving? I think you actually need to have a parking brake on. Parking brake on, and there we go. Still nothing. Okay, interesting. This bus does not want to move. Which is a fail for the video, I bet. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're in gear now. Why was that on? My H-clock system was on. Ok, 
Okay, let's go. Alright, what does the engine kick in? Usually. Away we go. This is the hybrid version. Obviously, it sounds like a hybrid. Uh, which means it doesn't sound like anything at all. It's a very, very quiet car. Or bus, or whatever it is. But yeah. Now we're working out how to get it going. Apparently, my H-Clock system is going. Anyway, driving the bus, driving the um, Helios GX327, I think it's a pretty nice driving bus. Uh, very, very smooth. Not lucky like a lumpy gearbox or anything like that. And yeah, obviously there's still one more bus still see we're going to check out before. Uh, uh, that is the CZ um, Stad Bus C2 or something like that. But we'll get down to. Yep. Check left, check right, we're ready to go. Full throttle, run the water. Away we go. See the engine docks are kicking at all. If I hold out the bottom, I might do that, I'll put it neutral. Right start up, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when the engine kicks on or anything like that. I think if you go really high speed or something like that, it might kick in. But when it's cold, it usually. Let's see. You just go up to 60. It's a very quick bus. Without the engine, that's for sure. We're at 60 now. I don't know if there's like a limit for the electric, the electric version, but we'll see. Uh, this is all experimental. Like. I've only driven the bus with the engine on. Like, yeah, I'm not too sure. And floor it. Just pretend we're going onto the freeway. Let's see if the engine starts up. Because we're going really fast. Because it might need the engine. Okay, we're doing. Let's see if we can get to a top speed. <laughs> 80. It's going to kick in at some point, but I didn't kick in at all. Let's go ahead and do a U-turn uh, maneuver just to see how the uh, handling is. So we're at zero. Just want to see. Yeah, the engine might start. That's alright. It's alright. It still drives, which is good. So let's go do a U-turn and see how this goes. So turns and U-turns. I'd say it's pretty good, honestly. Alright, right. Now we're going to do a 40 roll and now we're going to do a lap around the track. And then we'll do the same thing with the other, other engines and transmissions because they're all very different in a way. Alright, let's do a 40, around right about 40 roll. Let's see what that other 40 is starting in. What gear we're starting in. Because A, it's automatic, and B, if there's no engine. Let's go. This, and like I said, this won't be the last um, video. I was, I was thinking this was going to be the last video, but because of the fact that my um, um, CPU that I'm getting for this computer, so like my last video with his system, but it's actually not because, well, um, my um, CPU that I'm getting is out of stock everywhere. Like I can't find it anywhere in Australia. Well, well in South Australia, that is, because I want to get in South Australia locally, support local businesses, you know what I mean? during these tough times that we're about to um, hopefully finish in 2021 um, in um, like March 2021 which I can't wait for because um, I know the UK is starting to get people vaccinated and stuff like that which is fantastic so yeah we're about here yeah, three or four five blocks away from all that as Gun Vera said. I might as well cover some news now because obviously this isn't the um, uh, uh, commentary drive I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be doing that next week or no the week after probably the new year Unfortunately, I'm going to have to delay everything to the new year because, um, but when I, at the start of the year, I'll still probably be uploading daily, but I won't be doing two videos per day, thing anymore, um, if it, like I'm doing today, which I do apologise, so there was no video yesterday. Um, uh, yesterday's video was, it was meant to be a commentary drive of the videos here, but the map I wanted to try was a bit of a better setup, but I'll be doing that video, um, probably, or uh, I'll probably... Um, 
start up. I think more power people have by that, so it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. 75k is now pretty much all you need for one of these buses, which is a city drill. But yeah, we are still doing a pretty different video on Christmas, so there's not going to be a flight to video next week. Um, I've got an idea. It's not the game I was thinking of, it's actually a newer version of the game I was thinking of, but it's going to be a cool idea. I reckon you, you, you guys are going to like it. Anyway, that is the drive, uh, that is the lap. Now we're going to do a top speed test and see if we can get this engine to run. I want this engine to run. I believe the top speed is like 75 without the end, but I want these engines. Okay, let's shut it off. Let's still accelerate without the key in it. Yeah, it's still accelerating. So I wonder if it's got like a cool down. 76. So I'm trying to get my head to the start. Maybe I have to press something. So let me just go ahead and line up really quickly. Let's see if it still goes into reverse. Okay, yeah, it's going reverse. Oh wait. That's not reverse. There we go, we're going to now. So that means we should get some more speed. I just had to reset the ignition. Right, let's go ahead and back up here. I just had to reset the ignition, that's what it was. So now that the ignition running and the engine's running, we should be able to go a little bit faster. So we'll see how we go. Oh, the engine's not running anymore. So Put the drive. Okay, and put it right for a throttle and go. We should go a little bit faster now. That the engine's cut off again. So we might be going to same speed. So that's 50, still going straight on the road, just making sure of that. 60. Speedo's pretty well calibrated as well, which is good. Uh, 453,000 k's by the way on this bus, I forgot to mention that. 76, 77, Let's see where it's going to stop. But uh, it only runs at like plenty of stops, so uh, like that. 79, let's see if we can get to 80. 79.3, 4.5. A little bit more. I reckon that's it though. 79 and a half k's now, so about 80 k's now. So let's slam on the brakes, so let's see where we end up. Oh, we've got the emergency flashes going on because I actually did an emergency stop. That is a cool feature. I have not seen that in most buses. Okay, let's turn them off now. If I press B, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull it into here because we've made it to the top speed. Oh yeah, there's your emergency flashes as well. Oh yeah, per very very cool indeed, and it actually just suddenly uh, puts your emergency flashes on whilst you're um, emergency braking. So let's just try it again. Is it going to do it again? No, it's not. But what's it, what's it, what's it sitting? Yeah, I don't know why it just starts the engine that when you can't park the engine. Oh, okay, there we go. Now let's do this. There we go. And the battery's off now, which means the engine will turn itself off. Everything will turn itself off. There we go, just like that. And then that's the electric bus. Now we're going to try out one of, some of the petrol buses. But anyway, like I said, look at that. I'll try out some of the, um, not petrol buses, diesel buses now. So I'll see you when the next one will spawn. Might take a while. It might be the Euro 3, I reckon. So I'll see you then. So there's the hybrid model right in the distance there. This is the Voif. Um, free speed, the 4D854.3 with the Euro 3 engine. So we've had the hybrid, this is the Euro 3 engine now. So let's have a quick flick through. So as you can see, we've got an air conditioning unit. This has air conditioning, it has two escape hatches at the top rather than that whole glass roof that the hybrid has. Uh, two door model with two wheels, just like the last one did, yeah, except the last one was a three door. And uh, yeah, more conventional looking bus, really got standard uh, wheels, there's no wheel covers on them. So there's no aerodynamics. And yeah, pretty much it's, it's the same bus except it's got a different engine. Um, interior wise, it's a different colour interior because I think it's because of the skin I've chose. We've got this 
pretty cool. Looks like an indigenous style painting sort of thing. If you know indigenous Australian painting. Uh, if someone accidentally turned on the bus. Okay, you just heard that go off. So now we just go open the doors. That will go away straight away. And I'll just turn off the engine now. Turn off the engine now. So it won't, it won't turn automatically on if you have a um, um, ICE bus. Uh, yeah, very nice interior. Um, obviously going through all the views. Yep, we did do that last time. And as you can see, this one's got to tack over there. Use it. Oh, by the way, these buses use the Axia dashboard, which is what some of the other buses we checked out used. And um, yeah, again, no but buttons that work. And then we've got some more buttons. I mean, same buttons layout. It's just essentially, it's the same bus. Anyway, we'll start the bus up now. We'll turn the ignition on anyway. And watch the bus turn itself on. Hang on. Yeah, I thought I saw that one very, very funny. Just turn it on there, you've got your uh, things turning on there, just like the same thing. It's the um, Windows 10 embedded. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll flick through all the gauges, that's what we normal. What, what we normally do, we've always flicked through these gauges anyway, so you have your brake pressure, your fuel, and your temperature, and then it goes to this. And then what we're going to do is just hold down the. Um, your engine on off button which is your M key whatever you set your M key to on your steering wheel for my case it's my Xbox button and there we go it's running very, very different from sound to the other bus for sure very different cranking sound it actually started right up sounds pretty good though I forgot to check out the interactions I'm gonna open the windows um, I forgot to check these out, I do apologise. Can't open the windows. So that's pretty good, yes, I do. Yeah, that's all we can do. Alright. Parking brake off, parking brake is off. Put it to drive, drive, there it goes, on. Whatever we're talking about, let's get going. So this has the Wolf D85 4.3, so I believe this is the free speed. Was of D85 4.5 is the full speed. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong or not. I do apologise if this video is going to be late. I think next year I'm going to start, I'm going to anywhere about 7.30pm um, Australian Central Daylight Time and then it will be sitting at 6.30 when it's the standard time. Not with speeding. Yeah, I think this is a free speed. But yeah, it sounds very nice. I like how it drives. Pretty smooth. Um, yeah, so next obviously video, which will be coming out, not this Sunday, next Sunday after Christmas, we will be checking out the update at 1.1 for the Intercity Urban. But now, um, let's go talk about some news, because I haven't, oh, wait, this is not a drive. I think, I think I've spoken it in the last clip. Um, Street Space 717 took delivery of his Lamborghini Aventador today, which is absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and punch it. Um, he bought a yellow 2014 Aventador sight unseen for $275,000. He paid cash for it. Due to um, due to um, tax, let's turn the lights off and check the lights. So this is your, what your lights would look like. So to do its fee. There we go. There you go. Turn all that on. I didn't do the um, regular. I didn't do the regular headlights. What am I talking about? Oh, we're speeding again. Okay, I have a habit of speeding in this bus. So we're not doing. It. We're doing the lap yet. We're just doing this regular city driving. But yeah, he bought the um, Aventador, um, and it, he took delivery on it today. And man, his reaction was absolutely insane. But I may already talked to this last clip anyway. Um, I don't remember. Um, because this took a while to load. Uh, that's probably one of the issues that really I have is that this bus takes a while to load. That was now 16. It does kick down very nicely though. Let's see if it's a free speed. Yeah, this looks a free speed. Alright, let's go ahead and do the freeway test. So we'll go full throttle. Okay. The light holds from second to third. It like slips for some reason. I think it's like slips. But it's faster than the electric, the hybrid bus. Hybrid is it's hundred percent faster. So let's go ahead and do the U-turn. Uh, but yeah, uh, this bus is faster than the um, electric bus. The electric bus goes only 75, this one goes over 100, I believe. And in terms of um, U-turns, yeah, it's about the same. 
but if the game will do a forward roll again, it doesn't matter because this is an automatic, this is, will stay around for me. And then the green section of my attack on, on why I'm scanning dashboard here, don't use the same dashboard. But uh, um, so that's that. Also too, um, the Strad Man did a video with Tanner Fox. He uh, with the um, uh, and he also talked about his Bugatti Veyron crash as well, which is very sad to hear. It's not the pod car, the one that was in Texas. And this was actually a crash on the track. It had PPF on it, and then once it once he unwrapped, once they replaced it, the last owner replaced the PPF. It, it drove fifty thousand miles after that accident. Fifteen thousand miles. Which is Crazy, but yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Um, Auto Vlog um, is actually looking to buy another truck. Um, his Vlog for his 2021 Ford F 150 is not turning up. Um, he's probably gonna buy a Dodge or a Semi whilst he waits for his Ford F 150 because he needs to buy a truck, otherwise, he needs to pay more taxes if he doesn't buy enough vehicles because obviously, it's used to be a tool for his channel. I mean, it'll be his new daily driver, regardless. There we go, beautifully through the hammerhead. Uh, who else do we talk about? Uh, there's this new rule going on in um, the States that if you use a song, a copyright song, there's a chance that you can get jailed on. Um, which is absolutely terrible. Um, I heard on uh, Life of Pilots that's an issue, which is absolutely terrible. Um, absolutely terrible. And, yeah. So if you use copyrighted material, there's a chance that you can get jailed. Which is stupid. Which is stupid, like, really. Just because they use someone's music. I mean, I mean, it's not like the old days when YouTube was didn't even care about copyright. But I mean, it's like things like TikTok and bloody Instagram Reels. Because obviously TikTok's, um, I, I believe TikTok's way more famous for the video. Right, there we go. Down our lap, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the um, engine heater on really quickly, which is just on right here, whilst I drive up to. Thanks for all the to put it in Because it's not warmed up yet, put it in my dashboard. But yeah, yeah, because I heard about that and thought, oh, okay. And yeah, I think that's all the news I'm going to cover. Obviously, my green box I covered um, in the last video. Zach Brody, um, the new owner of the Zach um, Ford Falcon X Sussex Turbo has picked up their car, um, Zach's car. Um, it's no longer his car, that means he can probably go take delivery of his new car by the end of this week, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So he'll be going to pick it up and take it home. And it'll be his ultimate. And it be his um, dream car like that he's had since he was a kid. Which is absolutely insane. I wonder what, I mean, I'm still, I believe 100% it can only be an FPV. Because he says not many YouTubers have this car because parts are so expensive. FPV parts are absolutely expensive. So. I believe it's an FPV of some description. I'm not sure what model. I believe it will be an FG, of course, because FGs are the best looking Falcons. Um, modern Falcon studies. Better looking in the B series, um, so that's especially. Um, Utes, I think I like the B series Utes better, but yeah. Um, but uh, it can only be an FG. FPV. It can only be, that's the only reasonable choice I can think of. Anyway, let's go ahead and slam on the brakes. And Get the boost built up. We've got launch control at 1000 RPM. Let's go. I said I think it was about launch control. Let's right? see how we go. That's that second gear. We're going from to third gear, which is slipped from second to third. I'm not a huge fan of that. Actually, I think it's a four speed. Yeah, this is a four, this is the four speed. The five is the three speed. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it slipping like that. Right, here we go. 97. Oh, did I start it back up? No, I did. I was already started to see how it starts in the wall. At the moment. 100 and 1. 1 and 2. It's still climbing pretty decently. I'm going to slow the brakes. It didn't make it to its top speed. Fix it. This was the four speed. Has it got any emergency brakes? No one. 
that way because they didn't break hard enough. So I still didn't do that. Got to hide the caves though, whilst the other cut busted. That bus goes 75. This one goes, probably, I'll say 105, I reckon it'll be. So it go uh, caps out. 105. Anyway, we'll pull in here, turn the engine off, restart it, and then we'll go on to, because I forgot to restart it back there, because that's what I used to do. Then we'll move on to the uh, Void 5 speed Euro 4, I reckon. That might be cool. And then we'll do this NF last bottle. There we go. Actually, did it actually say? Hang on, let me just have a look. You won't, you won't be able to see this because I don't have a set on my own. Did it say hybrid or did it say something else? Euro 3, Euro 4, Euro 5. Part of that's 20T, that might be 2010, 2011. And EEV. Doesn't say anything about hybrid, which is a surprise. Anyway, let's turn the engine off. We'll start the engine back up because obviously it's been warped. So we're just turning everything off and to turn all the switches off. Now it's warmed up, I can turn that off. That'll disappear. And then we'll start it back up. There you go. Yeah, just that's the same. Just like that. Cool. Oh, we'll shut it off. Alright, cool. Well, we're going to check out the um, next bus now, which is the Euro 4. So we'll see you then. So those are the two buses there that we've had before. The um, Euro 5 is right, the Euro 3 is right there. Then we have the um, hybrid bus. Now this is using the same skin as the hybrid bus, this is the Euro 4 model, um, so it's a little bit the same as the other bus, for instance. Really, we don't need to really look at it, so you can see we've got the same aero style wheel covers, and then we also have the um, transparent roof with that one section, there's no air conditioning in this model, by the looks of things. And um, yeah, very, very basic, but really, it's a same, it's a same, it is, but if I go here, it, does, it has a power meter instead of the um, uh, attack. But it's still a if I start it. Like it won't start up because this is a Euro 4. So let's quickly start this up. This has the free speed gearbox, the D854.5, I believe it is. And yeah, all right, everything's ready to go. Let's go and start up. You won't hear it cranky. And there we go, it's ready. And obviously no gearbox because it's what no um, RPM gauge, it's got a um, got a um, power meter instead. Okay, here we go, it's ready. So let's go ahead and head off. Let's see what happens. See how it's different the three speed drives to the four speed. Set up the sound a little bit. I just open the window because it has an engine. And then the last bus we'll be checking out is the ZF EEV model. Actually, wait, what? I don't know, I think it's changed up. To the third gear. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, that, so that power meter is an optional thing. So you obviously have, uh, some buses have a tech or whatever. Some bus has, some buses have the power meter instead. Which is pretty cool. Like, it's a very, it gives us some variation. But we'll find out in a minute anyway. Once we accelerate to 50 k's an hour. So I'm currently very confused. But jeez, okay, just revved up to 50 k's an hour. That was good though. So here we go. So I'm not revving it yet because it's cold. Okay, first and second, that's second. That's third. Okay, that's strange. This is fourth gear. So that other one must be the free speed. I'm not sure which one is the free speed. Um, if there's a free speed in the um, in the um, steam um, section, but I'm not 100 percent sure which one it is. This has the D854.5 or whatever it is. But I'm not 100 percent sure. But then again, we're testing because we're the different engines. That's what we're listen to it. Punch it. Kicks out quite nicely. Yeah, but I really like how this one sounds. I think this is the best any one, yeah. This is the Euro 4, honestly. I think this one sounds a bit better. I'll do a rev off at the end of the video as well, so that's why this video is a little bit late as well. Because I'm currently 20 to 6 when I'm recording this, and I don't think it's going to be out of time. Depending how long this video is. So I'm going to do like a rev off so you can actually hear the different sounds. 
and see which one do you think sounds best. So I'll wrap it up to like Max RPM. Yeah, let's see what we can do now. We'll obviously do the U-turn because why not? And it still slips, like I don't like the gear changes at this when you're doing full throttle. Uh, obviously you're not going to be doing full throttle the whole time because you're taking just the bus routes and stuff like that, but honestly, that's probably a defect for me is how the gear box changes. But I don't think I really like that, honestly, because it kind of slips. Alright, let's go ahead and wait to the um, our engine heat is on to do the top speed test. Okay, of course, just like the other buses, it's mostly close to the uh, middle line. I don't like how the, tr the transmission's good at low speeds, but at high speeds, power, the voice is not a good transmission at all. Because it kind of slips. Which is kind of silly, obviously. But it sounds good, this bus. I think this is the best sounding bus, but obviously, I'll do a rev off with all the buses at the end. I'll do like some exhaust clips. Like I did with the um, other bus pad, the. Um, Mercedes bus pack, or whatever it was, the city bus six to eight. I did that. I did like a start up. But uh, I really don't like the tra how the transmission shifts in this bus. At high, at high, at high revs, because um, it's um, all with the boy buses anyway, because it slips. Which it shouldn't do. So it's between second, third, and fourth. There's 80. But uh, this bus is so new, there's no reviews on it yet, which is absolutely crazy. There's like nine reviews, um, user reviews, but obviously I'll give you my feedback. I think this is one of the first um, videos of reviewing this bus, I'm not 100% sure. Brakes, brakes are really good on this bus. I think the brakes are amazing. Okay, 50. Yeah, you can see how good brakes are. Like, really good brakes. And across the line, I'm going to turn the engine heater on now, so we're going to do a twin top speed test. But no, like driving normally, it drives fine. Like, if it's shifting around 1500, it's fine. But if you're doing like full throttle like this, it won't shift, it won't shift properly. I don't like how it shifts. So that's my main issue with it, is the transmission. It's, it's a little bit janky, but... Apart from that, like at, at full throttle. But, but then again, none of you are going to be doing full throttle. You'll be just driving like at 85% throttle. Like right about there, actually. On the uh, throttle beat today. But anyway, we'll go ahead and park up and we'll do some um, accelerations. But yeah, um, if, if you did, if you saw like all the transitions and stuff like that I've been doing recently, I've actually got a new video editor. I keep changing video editors because I want to experience some different ones. Um, I used to have Fomora 9, but now I've got Fomora 10. I also had DaVinci Resolve for a bit. Like, DaVinci Resolve's good still, but, I guess, but having Fomora I means I could actually just, yeah. That's, that's part of. Um, the uh, uh, transition took very cool. Anyway, I'm going to restart the engine really quickly so you can actually hear how it sounds starting up now. As it's sort of warmed up. There we go, just like that. Alright. Let's do it. There you go. Let's see how it first is like. Yeah, like that shifted fine when it went out of our first gear. It's just second to third gear. Is that that like, like, sort of slips a little bit and it shifts? Then third to fourth revs up, so like twenty three hundred, and then slipping again.
Like, that's a concern to me, because that's not how buses are meant to drive. Like, you see, I mean, I live, my vehicle obviously had the same problem, where it like, held for so long. That's been fixed, actually. Um, like I said, I'll be reviewing that bus in, what, next Sunday. So that we can have another look. So if you are interested, I'll do it. Um, if you are wanting to see that bus, go ahead, and we are doing 108 k's an hour. And brakes. 109, it, it did make it to the top speeds. If I brake hard enough, as you can see, the emergency flashes came on. I believe when I start moving, I just stay away from the turn off. Did I? But yeah, the emergency flashes are on. I'm glad I did an emergency stop. Just wait a second. Turn off at the same time. Just like that. Now we've got one more bus to check out, which is going to be the um, what is it? The um, EEV bus, and we're going to be doing the ZF version. So I'll see you when that sports. Hopefully, you just the lights go off. There we go. And here we are with the last bus. This is the um, ZF um, EEV version of the bus. Uh, as you can see, very similar design. This one's got air conditioning in the back. Uh, very, very similar bus. Um, let's just open the window whilst we're at it. Can we open it on the outside? I don't think we can. No, we can't. But yes, this is the ZF version of the bus. And very interesting. I like the paint job on it. Uh, interior, very similar to the Euro 3 bus. And yeah, we'll just jump straight into it and get going. So this one has the tack. Um, I'll just wait for it to do a T. Wait for the lights to go off. There we go. Everything's coming alive. But it's no point really having a proper look of it. We'll just take it for a drive. We'll just if this was a two-door bus, by the way. Not the three-door that we've had before. Let's start her up. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and put the parking brake down. Let's go take this one for a drive. Let's see how much better these NF drives. Go second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. Look at that, how quick that's lifted. 50, just like that, very quick. Turn the lights on like we always do. Do get all the lights are on. But that, he drives a little bit better if I'm honest with you, than his voice. But we'll see how it goes at full throttle in a second. We're just turning the corner to do so. It might be a lot better then because it might slip as much. That being said, I can recommend the um, ZF transmission. Doesn't matter what engine you get, I'll probably recommend the ZF. Okay, table clear, let's go. Yeah, so much smoother. Doesn't rev out all the way, I oh, know it does. Yeah, way smoother. Way smoother, let's just go down a few gears. I don't care. They are in now. But uh, very but much better transmission. So as you can tell, um, instantly do I recommend the ZF more than the Voif? Absolutely. I think the Voif is a, especially if you're doing higher acceleration. Well, so if you're doing the town drive in the Voif, we'll just do just fine. It's just acceleration. The ZF does a better job because it shifts so much smoother because it has more gear ratios. This is a six speed, not a four speed or a three speed or whatever. But then now we're in six gear. But uh, much smoother, much smoother and smoother experience in terms of driving. 
in, to drive in a ZF. Now, I'm not sure which Z version of the ZF it is, I don't really look. Uh, I think it's like a 6.8, we saw that 6.8 8 26 because so that's in the transmission, that's in the um, Ford Falcon, by the way, um, the 6.8 P26. Yeah, if you have a Aston Martin DBS or some of that, that's automatic. <laughs> you'll have that transmission and you'll have a piece of the Ford Falcon technically. Probably different blue tune though. Let's do a U-turn and then we'll do a lap to see how the six speed holds up around the track. So let's do it now. Where he? Oof. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Right, let's go up to 40, which is where we're going to do the roll from. But right, let's see how we go. Let's just see if I can get to But uh, I drive somewhat smoother now. Alright, let's go ahead and put the indicator on this one. Oh, and full throttle. Let's do a rolling start. Alright, there we go. Day and I don't get why. I do not get why that video still gets views. Um, it's getting views every single day, like legit a lot. I'm confused about how that's possible. So when I get my new computer next year, well it's technically not going to be new, it's going to have some components from it, it's the same hard drive, same graphics card I've had for two years and the same um, case and same CD drive and same power supply. It's really the only that's different is the motherboard. I wouldn't call that a brand new computer, it's actually the same computer essentially. It's just better. Bigger and better. But yeah. And there we go. That's the laptop. But nah. Uh, uh, so yeah, 2021, my goal is to get my new car, but I'm getting it in January for sure. January, February. Uh, my brand new car, my new um, car. If it's the one I'm hoping I'm going to get, it's the one I'm going to keep forever, like 100%. But I believe it, I 100% believe it would be. Unless there's another model, then eventually I'm going to go for the faster model. If that, if, if it's um, the, another car which I'm wanting, similar car, then I'll, that, the one I'm going to keep forever, except it's going to be the sports model. But if, uh, if, but if I get that car, I know for a fact I'm going to, in the future, I can go to the sporty model. Which may have an eight cylinder or a six cylinder turbo. Um, that's a hit. What it might, might be. That might be a hit. And I'll be doing um, some content of that car for sure. I mean, I could do more content with that car than I could do with my other, with the other car I have in mind, but we'll see what happens. Because the, the car channel will definitely be started next year. 100%. So you can, uh, then I can build up this car that I'm thinking about getting, which is absolutely insane. So stay tuned to 2021. I'll give you a hit. It has. Six cylinders, that's why I'm gonna say both of the cars have six cylinders. And well they both might be automatic. One well, yeah, I don't know. Or they could be manual. Or they could be dual clutch. Or that could be C V T. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, something pulls that warning on you. Anyway. Let's see what It's a little bit slower than the other transmissions, I would say. But it's kind of not easy for the front, apparently. But we do 
Hollywood 70. I feel like this is going to be the fastest bus. I don't think this sounds the best. I think the Euro 4 sounds better. But like I said, we'll do a rev off. So that's, that's why the video is a little bit late as well. You're probably about to hear everybody else sort of thing. Go off in a minute. Yeah, we're well, on 10 now. It's still glowing. Yeah, it's still glowing. We're not going to make it. The only way we're going to stop speed is the. Um, uh, is the um... Okay, they break hard enough. But we are, we'll go ahead and park up. I will talk about the pros and cons and then I will do the cold start compilation and then we'll wrap up this video. So let's do that now. So we did that with the other pack of buses. Did I do the last one? No I did, I might, no, because they all sound the same, that's why. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the pros and cons out of the way. So the so this is so what do I think of the bus? I think I'm, I really like it. There's some things that could be improved in the future, hundred percent. But really, I liked it. So let's talk about the pros. Number one, lots of variations, like different sounds, different transmissions, and different set bars. So there's like, different options you can pick. Well, we'll get, you know, the bus will be picked for you. That gets lots of randomization. Two, great bus to drive. And number three, great sounds, I would say. The cons. Number one goes to the VoIF gearboxes. Um, the VoIF gearboxes, as you saw when I was driving, very hard like the slip between second, third and fourth gear. But first and second fine, that's a very strong shift and then second and third tend to slip like slip the clutch or something like that, which is not really ideal for a bus, especially if you want to go high high driving. Um, um two, some buttons don't work for a payway bus but which costs twenty eight dollars and forty five cents like I said in the intro. And number three um let me think. Um, not enough clickable things on the outside. I wish there was more. And number four, I reckon, would be um, the actual uh, purchase thing is lying. There's no free speed for it, I don't think. And also, they couldn't redo the features page. That'd be great because it doesn't make a hundred percent sense what that says. Because I don't know what the Euro Five is. Overall, I give this bus about a seven out of ten. Do I recommend it? If you're looking for uh, this kind of bus, a hundred percent, you should definitely check it out. But if you're not Probably yes, they're also actually. I, I think this bus is worth, worth recommending. I've, I've also to actually number five con takes a while to load, but I really think this bus is worth getting for twenty eight dollars forty five cents for what you get with it. It's just like the city bus six to eight C and six to eight G. There is going to be there is going to be some issues, but I reckon. Yeah, there you go. There it goes. I reckon it's a pretty decent bus to get. So yeah, that's it. We're going to turn off the engine now. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. this video. Make sure you leave a like down below for stop by for the first time. Please subscribe. Um, take care of a good one. In, uh, download the games that I have been in production for in the description down below. Enjoy the cold, the startup compilation. Take care of a good one. Bye bye. Um, I did forget one thing um, before we end out here. Uh, I'm going to, have to do a quick um, horn test and a quick um, wipers test. So I'm going to start the bus back up. It's just running off the. Um, so, so this is the horn. There we go. That's the horn, and this is the wipers. Right there. Just like that. There you go. Um, catch you next one. Um, Terrace has a video coming out in a few hours. Take care of a good one. Bye bye.